Today, we're going to be looking at if, elif, and else statements in Python. So let's get right to it. So the key things with using these, uh, these statements is, how to keep in mind they utilize colons, but they also use indentation. So remember, they use colons and they use uh, indentation. So we'll call it tabs for now. But let's actually get right into it. Let's show exactly what they look like. So let's start off with our if statement. So if something occurs, what do we want to happen? So let's keep it really, really simple. Let's say if true. So if something is true, what are we going to do? We're going to print hi. Well, because it is true, they then will run the program or run what we, the little block of code below it. And so to keep things to look at here, so right after true, we see the colon and right below it, we see that indentation and then we have the print. So that is common with any of these if statements. And it's the same thing with elif or as well, or, or else statements as well. So let's show a couple more here. So for example, it's if three is greater than two, colon. As soon as we press enter, we see that indentation automatically happens. We're gonna say print, we'll go print, uh, the number is bigger. It is bigger, perfect. And we see that it prints because three is greater than two. Let's do this again. So what if, if uh, three is less than two, colon, press enter, indentation automatically happens. We're gonna go print, the number is not bigger. And as we see, nothing pops up. Why? Because the statement we said, if this statement, you know, default is true, we're going to print this next, or we're going to run this next block of code. But because it's false, because it's not true, it does not run the block of code. So this is where the else statements really kind of come in handy. We'll clear that up. So let's say uh, if three is less than two, we're going to we're going to print uh, number, uh, what should we write? Let's say print, uh, this is good, right? Nope. Too quick on my notice there. Else. So with else, you don't actually need to put a condition into it because we know that if it's not the if statement, whatever doesn't happen there automatically goes to else. So else, I put my colon, I press enter. As you can see, I have that indentation there as well. I'll print, uh, not greater, not greater than, right? Press enter. So we run it. We can see that's not greater than because three is not less than two. Therefore we go to our else statement. Something else we can look at doing is the elif statement. And so what this is, is the ability to say, well, if it's not, if it's not, if, so it's not this first one and it's not the second one, well, how do I encompass everything else in between? So let's take a look at it. So let's do some call. Let's call it create a variable, we'll call it location. So we're going to call it um, home. So my current location is home. So if location equals home, okay, colon indentation, we're going to print I'm at home. Awesome. Elif, so E L I F, if location equals Jim. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Print, print. I'm at the gym. And the cool thing with elif is you can add as many as you want. So elif location equals. I don't know. Let's see. We're at the the bar, for example. Colon indentation. Print, print. Uh, I'm at the bar. And we'll do one last one. Um, elif location equals movies, oh, front, colon, enter, print, I'm at the movies. And to wrap it up, we add our else statement. So our very last statement that which wraps it all up. Else, again, we don't need to put any sort of, you know, comparison operator or any sort of uh, extra information there because we know that if it doesn't hit all of these, it's going to be our else statement. Print, I'm in the upside down. Stranger Things reference for those who watch it. Run it. Okay, so we're in the upside down because I didn't spell location. So let's uh, let's actually change this. So let's make it lowercase. So I'm at home. We can see our if statement. Let's put something else here. Let's put I'm now uh, the bar. Run it. I'm at the bar. So what this will do is actually run through each of these pieces of code or each of these these blocks of information. Say okay, well 
if location is this, we're going to run this. If this location is this, we're going to run this. And so there's many, many ways you can do this, but this is a good entry level uh, or introduction to it at the whole. So again, if I put some place that does not exist, so let's say I'm at the um, at school, for example, I'm in the upside down because school is not one of our LF statements. 